Once you come in here and you have to detox, you're traumatized. You're just constantly shaking because your body's hurting. For the mommies and daddies out there still running them up. Still using time. Some people get a fever, some people are throwing up. But being on Suboxone makes it a hundred times easier. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Jails do sometimes provide some basic care for people in withdrawal, but that can often be Gatorade and then an ibuprofen. And they're not really fundamentally providing the treatment that somebody with an opioid use disorder needs. <laughs> In Bellingham, Washington, a recent class action lawsuit by the ACLU may impact how inmates across the country are treated for addiction. Whatcom County has changed dramatically over the last 15 years. It's still a great community to live in. It's a great community to raise your family. But like the rest of the country, we're experiencing a heroin epidemic that has uh, entrenched itself here in our community. And, is affecting crime, it's destroying lives, and it's destroying families. It's something we're very focused on eradicating here in our community. I've been working for the Sheriff's Office in the Corrections Bureau in the jail since 1981, so that's going on 39 years. Approximately 70 to 80 percent of our offender population has some issues with some type of substance. When we're dealing with folks when they're coming into custody, withdrawal is like a really bad case of the flu or a bad case of food poisoning. It's like the flu, but 100 times worse. I've been an addict for 24 years. I was 13 when I first picked up. Hello, ladies. I've had my issues in the past when, when, you know, when I was using and did some stupid things. Other than that, my charges are for driving. I started Suboxone about eight years ago. Suboxone is a form of medication-assisted treatment. It's prescribed by a growing number of physicians to help those suffering from opioid use disorder curb their craving. There have been a couple of times I, uh, I slipped, I fell off. When I came in last year, I was uh, on Suboxone and I, they didn't give it to me then, and so I had to detox. And so it set me up for a really hard, hard time not being able to be given my Suboxone in here. When I got out of here, I relapsed. I relapsed for 10 months. I think that if I went back to last year and they gave me Suboxone, I, I wouldn't be here right now doing 180 days. Our challenge in working with the criminal justice system is the transition from incarceration back out into the community. Charles Watrous runs a medication-assisted treatment program in Whatcom County that often works with inmates in the first few days they're released from jail. When we started our uh, program in 2017 in Whatcom County, we wanted to coordinate and be able to continue uh, delivery of services to our patients. What's your current dose? A three eight milligram tablet. And it's oftentimes not until they get released from jail uh, a week or two later that they said that they were not allowed to continue their medication, went through the uh, horrible withdrawal process, uh, and then were released and then trying to scramble to get back into treatment. I know Whatcom County, yes, I've been there, so I know exactly. They, they don't care what you go through in there. When I went in like the second and third time, you know, for stupid little things, I actually said I wasn't sick because I know they don't take care of you. They put you on the first floor and they call that sick thing and, and they don't check on you. We've always treated withdrawal symptomatically. We can give them pain medication, it's normally Tylenol. We'll also use medication that'll help the, stop the diarrhea. We tried to offer Whatcom County Jail our support in getting their program off the ground, but it was sort of uh, falling on deaf ears. It wasn't until Mark Cook from the ACLU reached out to me and said, we're looking at cases where patients are being denied access to medication-assisted treatment. And it really started the ball rolling from there. We started looking at this problem of denying people in jails access to medications probably two or three years ago. And it was in that initial investigation that we you know, started looking at Whatcom County specifically. The county jail had been taking some steps forward. In 2016, Wendy and her medical staff began offering medication-assisted treatment to pregnant inmates. If a pregnant woman starts going through withdrawal, she can lose the baby and she may lose her own life. When I first started using heroin was 12 years ago. 
We thought since we could control all other drugs, we could control that one. We ended up being wrong. One time I was actually pregnant with twins and I came in and I uh, lost, I don't, th I don't know if it was from the gel that I actually lost the twins, but um, I did lose them at six months because one heart stopped and then it stopped the other heart. So it was from not taking Suboxone. This time I'm pregnant too and they've been on it. So, like I got in, I told them I was sick, I was on certain medications, and I had them within 24 hours, so it's been a lot better. We were working our way towards the medication-assisted withdrawal. It's just, things are expensive and you've got to plan them in budgets, and yada, and at, at that point, and still I would argue it's not necessarily the community standard within jails. The lawsuit, uh, Court Lever v. Whatcom County, was filed in June of 2018. The basic nature of the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, is to sort of prevent people from being discriminated against because of their disability. And having a substance use disorder is akin to having, you know, diabetes or heart disease. And what you've seen is that a lot of these facilities don't treat it as the medical issue that it really is. Have you had any overdoses? Oh yeah, I've uh, overdosed twice. Opioid use disorder is probably one of the hardest substance use disorders to treat without medication, but the easiest to treat with medication. Without medication, and this isn't including those incarcerated, there's only about a 10% success rate. I wish I could just stay clean and not have to use Suboxone, if that makes any sense. But uh, some people can't. One thing I would like, you know, for the judges to understand when people come in and take care of their warrants, and this is why they ran for a couple of years, because back in 2018 or 17, they had, were forced to detox in jail. That's my issue. The basic crux of this case is that people on MAT should be able to stay on that prescription medication too. In April of 2019, Whatcom County settled the class action lawsuit with the ACLU and agreed to begin offering medication-assisted treatment to inmates suffering from opioid use disorder within 90 days. Money that might have been spent in a lawsuit is now being spent on this program. I think it's a more humane way of dealing with people who have a very, very serious problem. And I'm lucky my sheriff does too. We've agreed to uh, the court retaining jurisdiction of that uh, issue for another year so that they're certain that we're moving forward and fulfilling the commitments that we made and that's just what we intend to do. I think people have heard about the lawsuit and the results of it and said, well, I guess we better get on the bandwagon. As of July 2019, the ACLU has successfully challenged jails in Massachusetts and Maine to begin their own MAT programs. The states that have incorporated medication-assisted treatment into their prison system have had wonderful numbers coming out. They show a significant decrease in recidivism once they're released, a significant decrease in mortality once they're released, and a significant uh, increase in treatment engagement once they're released. So there's a lot of evidence that points towards uh, medication-assisted treatment. So how about if we just do our check-in? Where would you be without medication-assisted treatment? What have you been able to accomplish? I'd be homeless for sure. I'd probably be dead. What have I been able to accomplish? Courage. Mm -hmm. To be me again. The biggest thing I'd like people to understand is not just our jail, but pretty much all jails aren't just punishment. They are in fact kind of the last social service agency for a community. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage, Lord, to change the things I can.